Washington, D.C. I hope that this message will find you and your families and friends in good health under these challenging circumstances. When I started my research at the Naval Research Lab many years ago, it was the early 90s, I was often the only woman in the room at conferences or funding agencies. Contributing to that changing scenario by giving more women researchers a bigger platform gives me hope for a more equitable future. We are very happy to share with you this webinar experience that we are organizing in the, the ICN2 Severo Ochoa program. So we invite you to join us in this free webinar that will be celebrated in October 16 in the afternoon. You just have to follow the link that you will see right here. It's a free webinar, so everybody is welcome to join us. Uh, we promise an amazing event of energy research uh, with top female scientists sharing their work. Also, uh, come, and, come and join us in the uh, round table that will be celebrated at the end of the webinar. There, you will be able to interact directly with our panelists and ask any questions about female career path. This is invitation is not only for females, also, of course, males are also welcome. Probably in terms of what I remember from last year, I, I, I found the round table uh, more memorable and a more, I suppose, em emotionally involving experience than the seminar itself. Um, and I also spoke to other people who attended it, both male and female, who had been interested in it and impressed by it. So I, th I think it was a, a, a valuable part of the, of, of the whole experience. So I think it's fantastic that we're highlighting the contributions of the women. I think that we will be able to bring more and more women in, and that is essential to being able to um, really tap the entire talent base of the world. I think that uh, sometimes one can be um, incorrectly intimidated about a career path. Uh, for some students, they're not intimidated at all, and I think that's great, you know, keep up the great work. But for some, they are incorrectly intimidated because they think, you know, that no one else faces the challenges that they face. And that's simply not true. And I think that being in a round table and hearing some of the challenges that people have had to overcome will uh, give them that strength, hopefully, to be able to pursue like, what it is they really want like to do. I believe that uh, it's very important uh, to uh, try to contribute uh, in this transition towards uh, carbon neutrality and green energy, which uh, the world is asking us as a scientist. So we really need to take this opportunity and make solar technology adaptable to the modern uh, requests, to the modern everyday life and needs. So I think that uh, that's very ambitious and uh, interesting, but on the other side, it's important uh, to highlight that in this field, uh, there is the need to make such a green transition more diverse and inclusive. I'm looking forward to the event and uh, I'm looking forward to be able to talk about my research and also see what others are doing as well. So hopefully it will be an inspiring event for people who attend and uh, they will be able to uh, see all the exciting science and engineering and technology uh, that we're researching on and all the good work that our students and our staff do in our research groups. Energy. Excellent. Inspiring. I would say perhaps innovation, uh, inspiration. Um, motivation. Love what you do and the passion you have. Passion. Women innovations, strength, the urgency. So choose a topic that you like and that you want to contribute with, uh, with your research. I'm going to say exciting. <laughs> exciting. Excitement. Maybe I could say valuable or unique, something like that. Yeah, imagination. Yeah, I like that.